Hi, welcome to my channel, Reviews, Fixes and Hacks. Um, today I've got a Vauxhall Astra J. It's a 1.7, um, I believe it's a Z17DTJ engine. Um, but it's a 125 BHP um, and the current symptoms at the moment is a rough idle, there's an engine management light that is on and it doesn't accelerate. Now just to demonstrate, I'll just tick over the engine. So start it. There you go. So the engine's just starting. I have opened the bonnet. Um, now, as you can see, engine management lights on. Now I will try and accelerate and give you an idea. Now, there you go. That's full throttle. It's not accelerating. You might be hearing the slight shudder, the revs are bouncing up and down, the car's juddering. Um, if I do a diagnostic check on the machine, oh, sorry, you can't see that very clearly. There you go. So enter, it's doing a quick scan. It's reading. There is a strong smell of fuel, and as you've seen, there's DTC codes on there. Just clicking it, one fault, one pending, and it's PO409. Now, oh, oh, car's doing something. Oh, still, still messing about. But anyway, PO, P0409. Now, that is indicative of a stuck EGR valve. Now. The way I see it is the symptoms. Ooh, very strong smell of fuel. Um, now, it is quite dark outside, so you're not gonna see the smoke. But if I was to pop out. Don't know if you can see the smoke coming off. There it is. Um, I might have to just put the light on. No, you can't see the smoke coming off. But either way, um, the point being, is that there is strong smell of smoke now given that it's not accelerate um the revs are not going up when the oh get to turn it off um because of the smell Oof. close that let's go into a car but anyway given that the vehicle is not oof, oof, really strong really strong but given that the vehicle's not um, revving, the symptoms are indicative to me of a EGR valve that has been stuck open. Um, clearly the diagnostic suggests that it is an EGR valve um, and the EGR valve is very much stuck open in, as far as I am concerned. Now the EGR valve location, now I will get my torch light out and I will head out just to point out where the location of the EGR valve is. So, if you just bear with me, I'm gonna get out now. There you go, as you can see, if you can see, no, you can't, but it is very much a voxel. The EGR valve, there it is. So it's got so the EGR valve has, just to point out, it's got one, two, three, four. Underneath that, there is a gasket, metal gasket. You need to make sure you hang on to that metal gasket. And then also one, two, two bolts there. Um, between these two, there's also a metal gasket and you need to be mindful that you do need to hang on to that metal gasket also. Once you take that off, there is a connection there. So let me just get there. There's an electrical connection. 
that should just pull off, unclip. Um, just to have a look, I think what you'll have to do is there's a little flap on this side. You need to push that in and it should unclip. Um, I believe, let me just have a look. I think it has to be lifted up using a flathead screwdriver. You lift the flap on that side and it should just pull out. Once you've done that, unbolt the six um, bolts and it should just easily lift out. Like I say, be mindful of um, not losing the gaskets because you will need them. So be very careful when taking it off. Anyhow, I will take them off. Um, I believe these are 10 mil bolts. Um, if they're not, I will um, later on do another video once I've taken it off and I'll mention what the bolt sizes are on that video clip. Apologies for the poor lighting, but as you can see, I've taken the bolts off. There you go. And the gasket that was here, I've taken that out carefully and there's the gasket. That's it. So you gotta be really careful with that one because you do need to hang on to it when you reassemble it. Now, as I said, I will do a recorrection. The bolts, the longer bolts here, these were the ones on top. So there's four of these. They are all 12 mils. So that is what I've used. And the slightly shorter bolts, I've got two of those. These are the ones that connect here. Okay, so this is the intake pipe. So this is the exhaust. So when, the recirculation from the exhaust enters via this pipe into the EGR. And this is the bolt that connects um, two bolts that connects the EG, uh, exhaust waste gas pipe to the actual EGR valve. So there's the EGR valve. Now just beneath that is the gasket. So what I will do is slowly lift this and this, just gotta be careful. And there's the gasket. As you can see, and there's the EGR valve. So, I will, once I'm ready to clean this up, I will have a, another little look at this, but keep the gaskets very careful with those. And within the EGR, ooh, now that does not look good at all. I don't know if you can see within that, that's still fairly bad, but this is particularly bad. My gut feeling says, this section here may have to come off. Now that's gonna be a bit of a job. Don't fancy doing it, but I think I'm gonna have to. So, let me clean the EGR valve and then I will consider taking this part off. Because as you can see, it is very restricted. Wonder what's going on inside of there. But hey ho, like I say, keep an eye out. Um, I will be adding further to this video. Uh, but in the meantime, I will go back in and clean the EGR. And as I suspected, I've just taken this off and it's open. So the fault is within the EGR and it's stuck open. And you can clearly see that should be closed. That's his normal resting position. Engine is off, that should not be open. So the fault could be that that is stuck or the issue could be the motor itself. But my gut feeling is that is stuck, it's seized. But once I've dismantled it, I'll have a look and I'll be able to um, get a better idea of what's going on. Here's a better view of the EGR valve. So as you can see within it, extremely sorted. Extremely, extremely coked up. Now I think that's where it is seized. And as you can see, it is very much stuck open. I can even smell fuel unburnt fuel so that needs a good thorough cleaning um, so as suspected the issue is with the valve itself there's a spring within it that spring does come off once to take the motor out now to take the motor out it's a simple matter of so let me just remind myself something so this will go like that so I better remember how the motor goes back on so the motor is on the left when I'm facing it, yes. So, to dismantle, 
just a normal Phillips and just putting it in. It's getting quite a bit of pressure, so I'll dismantle it and we'll have a look inside. Got the cleaned article, as you can see within it, um, I've cleaned all the internal parts. Um, I've actually taken that spring out and the spindle out using some carb cleaner, um, put in some tissue, soaked it in carb cleaner and degreaser and just polished everything off. Now, to dismantle the whole um, EGR, you just take off the four screws there. These are just Phillips screws. There's another one, there's one more here. The motor just then comes off and within it you'll see the spring. Now to get the spring off, where's the spring? There's the spring, there it is, just inside. That's it, that's the spring. Now to get the spring off you just push down and there's two tiny little um, retainers. Okay, so they're basically, it's not full circle, it's semi-circles on e either side and once you push down, these retainers will just pop out. Um, that let, allows the spring to be taken out, the spindle to be pulled out. So the spring will pop out, the spindle can put, be pulled out, and then you've got easy access to clean as best as you can. I've just used an old toothbrush, some tissues, and I've just done the best job I can. However, pushing back on the spring once I've put it together, um, it seems to be much easier um, to push it out and push it back in. So hopefully that's the EGR sorted. Um, my next step will be to obviously clean out the intake manifold. So it won't be the intake manifold, but the part that leads from the EGR towards the intake manifold. So I'll just have to quit, quickly clean that out because as you seen earlier, that really could do with some serious cleaning. It's just totally caked up and I'm just dreading um, taking it apart and seeing what's underneath. Um, but anyhow, um, now that I've done half the job, I might as well do the other half and hopefully um, it'll be, well, a good while before it needs to be redone. And hopefully this is gonna help some people.